done the matcha. Now we're going to go do some cauliflower action. So we're going to go to Mum's garden, Let's do this. and we're going to uh, we're going to um, pick some stuff fresh from the garden, Mrs. Paisley style, and we are going to uh, cook it and add CBD. Look at that bad boy right there, waiting for us. Is there quite a small one there? I think that one looks good. This one is a nice little baby. Look. All right. Listen, you've got to make soup. Yeah. All of us starving. <laughs> oh, look at that. Now, Mummy's Kitchen, dude. What we've done is we've picked the, the cauliflower, as you've seen from the video, from Mum's garden. We're going to take it back. Mum is going to make us a beautiful cauliflower. cauliflower soup, which I'm looking forward to for lunch anyway. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use truffle oil, mix with CBD, to uh, to garnish the, uh, the salad. So the salad. solid salad. Oh, cut. <laughs> we're going to use uh, we're going to use the, soup. We're going to use the CBD in the soup to mix uh, with olive oil and truffle. It's going to be great. So we get a little bit of truffle oil. We mix the CBD in with it. Whilst you're chatting so. away, I'll start cutting you, the you, cauliflower. You so I'm going to cut the cauliflower so that um, we can cook it. So this, and this is like a, this is in season, right? So yeah, and it's good to follow nutritional things that are in season anyway, right? Yeah, because uh, food eaten in season is made for. Uh, it is. What are you doing? There's some leaves out there. Oh. Um, food that you harvest in the right season supplies you all the right nutrients and vitamins for that time of year. Huh? That makes I sense. thought that was so great when I found that out years ago. That makes sense though, dude. And I thought, can you imagine nature is so powerful that they say, right, let's make sure they've got lots of fruit. But also soup, summer. you know, now with COVID and everything that's going on, soup is such a uh, is it easy, cheap thing to make. I love fabulous. the smell of turmeric. Smell that lovely oh. smell. But it stains your hands. Oh, it's lovely. So I'm going to fry some onion, garlic, turmeric and leek. And I'm going to cook them cauliflower. And then I'll blend it all together. So I'm going to fry the, the, the onion and leek and turmeric and garlic in, um, in the frying pan with olive oil. I mean with uh, coconut oil. Oh, nice. Yeah, you never used to like coconut oil when I no, used I, to say to you, it's you, better for you. I've learned a lot about coconut oil recently because I use it a lot now in uh, certainly with my skincare products and stuff. So I've been working with it a lot. So my well, appreciation there's a great, for it has gone up. There's a great book out called The Coconut Miracle and it's a whole book on coconut and how people in the islands have very little heart disease. But they use coconut in everything. They can shift to the next level. <laughs> oh, nice, that's I want to use the water that you strain from it. Oh, very good. Like it's that. Got a bit of salt in it. So it's got musu paste, salt. And we'll just blend it up. So now this is where we need your um, CBD, yeah? So you don't want to, you know, put it in, put a load of CBD into a big pot and not know how many portions there are. So portion it first, then you'll know. You don't really want to give Pass someone. Me a teaspoon, I need to you taste don't this. really want to give someone less, more than 100, 100 milligrams a day of um, of CBD. The, I think the World Health Organization say. The recommended dose should be about 70 to 80 milligrams. So, you want to be careful that you don't. There's a difference between scratching your ass and tearing it to pieces. So, you've got to be careful how much you take of anything. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to finish the cauliflower soup. She's going to put it into the bowls. And I'm going to show people how to heat the CBD and use the CBD as a garnish on top of the soup so everyone gets their dose in their. Uh, and then nutrition at the same time. Got about, there's about 15, to tw there's about 20 mil of um, olive oil there. 20 mil liters. 
Okay, you know, three or four, four spoonfuls. We're gonna heat that up. Then we've got the CBD sitting here in the syringe that's been in the hot water. We about, we need, we need about 400 milliliters of, uh, 0 0.4, sorry, 400 uh, milligrams, we'll say 350 milligrams. There's about 375 there, yeah, 0.4, 400 milligrams in there. So you'll see that the oil, the CBD oil, is uh, it's an oil anyway, so it just mixes beautifully with the olive oil and you can pretty much, you don't want to get it too hot, you don't want to go over 100 and sort of 180 and 190 degrees Celsius, so don't go over 200 degrees, over 200 degrees Celsius you'll start to uh, burn away the, uh, the anything good in the CBD. And in the olive oil. And in the olive oil I suppose, yeah. So you've got the olive oil there, that's your mixture there, let's put it back in the cup, it's all ready to go. So, that. Spoonfuls each would be adequate. Now the, uh, the cannabinoid expert comes into play. And we go. Um, mm, little okay. drizzle. Little drizzle. And little drizzle. And there you go. Cauliflower CBD soup straight out the garden.